What's going on, guys? How's it, uh... How's it going? I, uh, picked up something new. The, uh... Zombicide Season 2 Prison Outbreak. I have Toxic Mall coming in soon, so I will have the Zombie Force and stuff soon. I'll do and near that too, but this was half off at Barnes & Noble's. I was super, super excited. So let's go ahead and get this open. As you can see, the packaging is just slightly rough. Oh, I don't want to. Hold on a second. I gotta make sure I actually get a decent cut in here. I don't want to ruin the box as I like to keep these things in the box. Second. My blade just fell apart on me. I think I need a new exacto. But that and this is just going to be one shot as I do not have a lot of time to go through in editing right now. That's why I haven't gotten many videos from me. But let's continue with the one hand packaging. Uh, one hand unboxing and see everything that comes in there. We got some, uh, God, I think those are barbarians or something. Uh, berserkers, regular zombies, and then our heroes. So let's pop this thing open and uh, see how it is. Got all that crap off. Boom, done. And uh, let's see if I can wiggle this off using my elbow and my hand. That's one thing I love and hate about these boxes. So we got the book, Zombies, Zombies. Ooh, I really, really liked that over the last one. Uh, Berserker Walker, Berserker Runner, Berserker Fatty, and Berserker Abomination looks really, really good. Characters, we got Kim Poker Face, pause it if you want to read that. We got Joshua the Protector, pause it if you want to read that. We got Parkour Bell, the city is like a forest, ground isn't the only way to travel. There's her thing if you want to watch, look, read that, pause it. And Grindlock, if you want to pause it, go ahead and uh, read that. He looks really cool. I like the chainsaw characters. We got Watts the Family Man. And uh, finally Shannon the Soldier. So let's go ahead and pop these boxes out. We got both equipment and that's an automatic shotgun. Holy crap. Then we got the zombie cards too which appear to be this part. I don't know what that is. I'm assuming wounds or something. I don't know. I'll pop that open later. We got the traditional dice. I was hoping for a different flavor than the stupid card holder things. I hate those. It's the only thing about zombie side I do not like. So I bet you these are the characters. Hopefully they're in a nice little slide like the other ones were. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. This is even better. It's a white packaging instead of generic boxes. So it looks like we got the regular character here, zombies, Zombie 4 on the bottom. There's Bell, Shannon, and uh, Grindlock. And I'm going to have to cut these a little bit to get the other characters. There we go. We got uh, Watts. Um, Josh one Kim. I'm actually hoping to get my first set painting up once I really start digging into this. So that's the characters. We got the zombies and character cards. So I'll have to pop this open in a bit. Let's set this aside so that we can dig into the zombies. Oh man, they triple layered that. Alright. 
Oh, crap. Look at that. That abomination is sick. Oh, man. Pull that out and really get a look at it. See if I can get a close up and get it to focus properly. Ah, there we go. That's nuts. Then we got our walkers, 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 walkers. Some more walkers. We got our fatties and then our runners. And I'm not a fan of that little peg thing. But these walkers do look really, really cool. And I do like the way this is packed. There's no cardboard in between. It fits nice and smoothly. Here we got the Berserker Abomination, which also looks insane. I can't wait to put paint to these once I'm better at painting. We got some walkers, a couple runners, and fatties, and not so many of these, so I'm going to have to pick up a zombie box of these just in case if they come up. Uh, but I kind of have to play it first before I do that. Now, I'm going to set you down for a moment. So I can get these tiles popped open and these other things popped open. Where is my knife? Go ahead and boom right where nothing is so I'm not scratching anything. B-E-A beautiful. Alright. Let's pull. Come on you stupid thing. There we go. There we go. Mm. And the packaging on this is far better than season one. I can't wait to get season three and Toxic Neighbors. But I decided I'm grabbing some of the other little expansions like the Dog Companions and VIP stuff. So first we got the cards. This thing is always always so obnoxious we got Belle she has plus one free move of action right off the bat plus one action then free melee or plus one to range dice roll uh, plus one to combat or plus one die to combat a free move action or ambidextrous which I have no idea what it is her zombie war version has actually different stuff. I expect it to be the same. She looks crazy as a zombie. We got free move action, free ranged action, uh, ranged and zombie link, then plus one die combat, ambidextrous, and regeneration. So uh, this will be the first time I'm really digging into the zombie vores. I'm not going to go through the rest of the characters, except their pictures, and do a slight view of the abilities you can pause and look if you want we got Joshua the zombie 4 version really really interested to see how the zombie 4 stuff works as I've played about 15 16 games most single player mind you we got grind lock and we got grind lock zombie 4 which looks insane This guy's got Zombie Link 2 and then Reaper Combat. Here's Kim. Starts off with Lucky. Here's their Zombie War version. We got Shannon, the military girl. Point blank, plus one, Lucky, Slippery. We got the zombie vor. She has point blank, free range to action, uh, frenzy range, lucky, reaper combat, a couple other things. I definitely can't wait to dig into this. Uh, we got Watts who starts off with a baseball bat. Oh, he can go two zones per move later on. And he looks a little crazy like that too. We got our tokens and everything. I have no idea what most of these are for. It's the first time I'm seeing that one. Um, also that one. And those. 
We of course got the pimp mobile, we got a taxi, we got a police car and something else. Uh, no clue what that is. No clue what that is. The open doors and then that. We got another pimp mobile, a buggy. That again, that again. Then a police car and a taxi. So yeah, it's an uh, interesting variety. I'm assuming these are key cards or something. No idea what those are. Well, I know that's the starting token, but yeah, exit, then that. These, which I kind of have... I think I have an idea. That's barbed wire. These are the extraction things. Then we got the colored zombie spawns. Sorry, zombie spawn, not extraction. Colored markers. Yeah, this is looking really, really good so far. Then we got the prison theme tiles. I'm going to be grabbing another set of the tiles from the first one. Ooh, basketball hoop. Uh, another set from the first one, as well as a... Oh, man, that is gruesome. Oh, beautiful. I'll be grabbing a set... Oh, just look at that gore. Yeah, I'll be grabbing a tile set from the first one and this one and every expansion I get just so I can get the max play space possible without repeating stuff. So hopefully soon, oh man something bad happened there. Ah, that's a shower room. Hopefully soon I'll be able to get that up and I'll actually start like a 10-12 minute video series of a massive zombie game that I just release over time or something. I don't know how I'm going to pull that off, but we will see. I thought there was a medical bay or a helicopter thing that came with this, but I might have been wrong. Yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and get these tiles popped back in. Hopefully they fit nice and snug. Yeah, there we go. We got this in. The cards. Let's take a look at this rule book. We got rules and missions. Shows all the characters you get all of the uh, walkers, different cards and the tiles, all the game components basically, the cards and stuff. Oh, they actually give you an entire list of all the equipment cards. Let's see. Those were cell doors. Um, exit point, first player, noise, objectives. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's the born leader token. We gotta survive and win, which basically explains the game, gives you all the rules and everything, line of sight and whatnot. Explaining the weapons, the character cards. All this is mostly stuff that I know, but I will double check just to see if there's any updates. Uh, zombie movement, zombie spawn, combat, the different abilities that the weapons have. Uh, targeting priority, which I always house rule the way I do it is a uh, survivor only gets hit if it's a miss rather than their first priority but yeah that's that's something I always felt was stupid oh alright we got the police cars the pimp mobile the hippie mobile the muscle car and the taxi huh so yeah, that'll be fun. We got a uh, prison tile special locations, which I guess explains the special stuff. Um, explaining the zombie wars entirely. Mm. Which is going to be really interesting. Oh, that's broken barbed wire fence. Okay. Alright, that's explaining the zombie movement some more. We got all the abilities. Um, let 
let's see. Oh, then we got the missions. So we got the break-in tutorial mission, which should explain everything. Uh, blueprints, which will be interesting to go through. Tells you everything you need and how to set it up. And I really can't wait to dig into this. Uh, finding the keys, medium difficulty, concrete saw, medium difficulty. We got the welder, which is medium difficulty. There's a lot of medium here. There was a lot of hard in the first one. I guess they kind of got crapped on a little bit. Uh, rescue mission. We got the haven. Nice cleaver there. And uh, food, which is hard and it's huge. Holy crap. Actually, that's only eight tiles. That ain't bad at all. That's six tiles. That's a hard. Endless cleaning. A possible end. Uh, prison is hell. Alter an alternative ending. And then we got the general index. But yeah, that's it. Really, really happy to have this. And uh, hopefully I'll get that playthrough up once I get Toxic Mall and I familiarize myself with the uh, rules. I'll actually kind of get a campaign going. And, uh... Yeah, yeah, um... It, it will be single player most likely. I might have some friends come in and sub a bit. That's pretty much it. You guys have a wonderful day.